what up guys it's Grant's comics here and today we have two comics that I have for you guys to share and one of these comics um, is for Tony and by the time this comic this video is up Tony is already gonna have this comic so thank you uh, to um, a guy named John who has these comics and he finds stuff you know that other people are selling he resells them to people who want them or you know don't have comics and he has a few like three more comics that I want that's for my PC so maybe I'll get that in the future and I will uh, show it on a next comic haul and also review it but the one that I'm, that I'm about to give Tony I sadly I'm not going to be able to review it and um read it and review it for you guys so this is literally the only time you're gonna see this comic unless I find another one and I uh, I buy it and you know then I can read it I can do maybe an if I have another one if I find another one and you guys see it in another haul then <clears throat> I'll put the, a link to this video to that video it's if you know what I mean but anyway, so yeah, there's a uh, shout out to John for having these two comics for me and Tony. So, sorry, I'm just showing you the comic for for Tony. This is Amazing Spider-Man 316 right there. Boom. This is the first cover appearance of Venom, but this is his second appearance. His first appearance, obviously, Amazing Spider-Man 300. <coughs> But this is his first cover appearance. And like I said, sadly, I'm not going to be able to read this to review it. Because I'm going to give it to him after this video is up. Or after I record this video. It's Todd McFarlane. Um, cover is a direct edition. But now that I see it. I actually, I mean, it's not in my collection. But it's pretty iconic. And it's pretty dope. So I'm actually glad I got to see this in person. I got to <coughs> hold it and I get to buy it. And I know Tony is going to appreciate um, this comic. Because I, I think I gave him Amazing, Sp Amazing Spider-Man 298. Which is the cameo of Venom. So this is his second appearance. And his first cover appearance. All he needs now for the Venom that collection that he wants is Amazing Spider-Man 300. But that's a... Uh, like a almost a eight hundred dollar book. So hopefully one day he you know gets it. Or one day when I make a little bit more money, then <coughs> then I can get for him. <coughs> but yeah, sorry it's a little bit dark. It's because I'm doing this at night, so I'm sorry about that. So there's that one. Just it's the only time. You're going to see Amazing Spider-Man 316. It's the only time. So there's that one. So the one for me that's on my list that uh, John had it had is Avengers Annual. <coughs> Avengers Annual number 10 from 1981. Boom. So this is actually... Actually, I'm gonna t when I read this, if you guys know what this is, if you guys are comic book fans and you guys know what this is, then you guys know what this is. <coughs> when I for people who don't know what this is, once I give this a comic review, I will tell you what this is. But it's a really it's a it's a key book. It's a it's a key book. So that's pretty cool. And this is for myself. This is this is part of my list. So that's cool. But yeah, today I just got these two. Or on Wednesday. I just got these two on Wednesday, and that's it. And also, <clears throat> also John had uh, the sort of three comics that he had for me, or he had that I wanted, was maybe it's like a for those three books. It's like a f like four thirty five or f four seventy five. So maybe one day I'll probably <clears throat> say maybe three hundred. And if he doesn't want to do three hundred, I'll do like four hundred, like that. I like to make deals because I don't like to spend a lot of money, which is really weird for someone who likes to collect comics because this is what Tony said, and I know if you guys agree with this, then give us a thumbs up if you agree with this. 
if you want to, if you want certain comics and they're a lot of money and you can afford it, then you need to spend a lot of money for that comic for that one book. I know it's silly, um, to say that, but if you want a certain comic where it's expensive, especially if it's a high grade and you can afford it, just go for it. I mean, at first I was very skeptical about getting I mean Spider Man three sixteen, just because so. I got Avengers 10, Avengers Annual 10 for a good price. And I, originally, that's all I wanted, just Avengers Annual um, number 10. But I didn't want to be a jerk and be like, hey, man, do you still have a main Spider-Man 316 for Tony? And he said, yeah. So I was like, oh, all right, I'll buy that too. Because I just don't like to buy, I don't like to spend a lot of money on just on anything you know just on you know especially comics and i know this is like i said i know this is silly coming from a comic book channel but you know you just sometimes to me you just gotta suck it up and you're going to me here's a here's what i think i think if you spend a lot of money as long as you have a job and you save a lot of money eventually you're gonna get a lot of money and you're gonna be like you're gonna hit you're gonna go to you're gonna get you're just gonna get your money back. You know what I mean? It's it's like so, you know. Uh, uh, you know I'm, I'm always skeptical. Well, not skeptical, but like, I'm like, man, did I really just spend that much money for two comics? But at the same time, I gotta think to myself, this the main Spider Man three sixteen is for Tony, and Avengers ten is for you. It's for your, it's always it's on your comic list, and it's for you. And you're gonna, you're gonna eventually get that amount of money that you spent back. So like, it's like, I guess it's like a double a tundra, where you're like you spent a lot and but you can get back on how many that you got, or you can get more. So it's, it's like that kind of thing. So even though step skeptical about these things, I just gotta think. You're you. This is not like. This is for you. You're not going to sell it for years to come. So just get it and stuff like that. So in a way, I'm a smart buyer, but at the same time, I'm very clumsy. That's why I try to save as much money as I can. So in case I really want something, that I, stuff like that, then I'm like, okay, that's cool. Plus, like I said to myself, I promised to myself, Unless it's for my shop, I'm gonna spend a lot of money. I only spend a, a decent amount of money if it's on my PC, if it's on my comic list. If it's if I if it's more than a hundred dollars, then I'm not gonna. If it if I spend more than a hundred dollars, and it's not for my comic book list, I'm not gonna spend spend money on it. If it's more than a hundred dollars. And it is on my comic book list that I'm gonna buy, you know. But it has to, in order for me to spend more than a hundred dollars, I would have to. It has to be on my list. It has to be on my comic list. So. So yeah, that's it. So. That's it for now. If you guys are watching this, uh, if you're watching this video, and you guys ain't subscribed to Grant's Comics, make sure you subscribe to Grant's Comics. Give this video a thumbs up, and if you guys are subscribed to Grand's Comics and you're watching this, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, share this video to the comic book community, and also share Grant's Comics to the comic book community, as I want to try to get to 100 subscribers for, you know, I just want the comic book community to just enjoy content like this, but, because I know how much you guys like the comic book hauls, and I love comic book hauls as well. But, um, but yeah, that's it for now. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Alright.